Caitlin Clark's rookie season ended in dramatic fashion as her final shot, a 27-foot three-point attempt, missed its mark, sealing the Indiana Fever's fate with an 87-81 loss to the Connecticut Sun. Despite the disappointing end in the first round of the WNBA playoffs, Clark's debut season in the league was nothing short of extraordinary. Her rise from college superstar to WNBA sensation has laid the foundation for what could be a promising future for the Fever. Clark's journey this past year has been remarkable. Starting her senior season at Iowa in 2023, she quickly became a household name, drawing huge crowds and setting record-breaking numbers in TV ratings. After being selected as the number one overall pick in the WNBA draft, expectations for her were sky-high. She joined a struggling Fever team that had only won 30 games in the past four years. However, Clark's arrival transformed the team, leading them to their first playoff appearance since 2016. Reflecting on the season, Clark shared her optimism, it's a good little taste of what's possible for this organization and for this franchise. We're a young group, but we came together and had a lot of fun. Sometimes the worst part is you feel like you're playing your best basketball, and then it has to end. Clark's impact on the court was undeniable. She shattered records throughout the regular season, including setting a WNBA record for assists in a season, 337, and most points scored or assisted on in a season, 1,520. Her playoff performance further solidified her potential, as she either scored or assisted on 45 points, marking the most by a rookie in a WNBA playoff game, while her incredible debut season brought excitement to Indiana, Clark's success didn't come without challenges. Her high-profile presence in the league has also attracted personal attacks, from online harassment to heated moments with fans. In Game 2, an altercation with a fan briefly interrupted play, further underscoring the scrutiny she's faced throughout her career. Fever coach Christy Sides defended Clark and the team, emphasizing that such behavior has no place in the game. As the Fever look ahead to the future, they have a strong foundation in Clark and fellow standout Aaliyah Boston. General manager Lynn Dunn's vision of building a championship contender is already beginning to take shape. With back-to-back -back number one picks in Boston and Clark, the Fever are poised for greater success in the coming seasons, while the season ended earlier than Clark would have liked, she remains optimistic about what lies ahead. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface, Clark said, and I know there's a lot of room for me and my teammates to improve. Now, with a break from basketball on the horizon, Clark is ready to reflect on her whirlwind year. And as for the offseason? You might just catch her perfecting her golf swing before the Indiana weather turns cold.